Sometimes in life, friendships form in the places you least expect when you need them most. NBC 217 found just that in tonight's story to share. I just kept getting fevers and they wouldn't go away. Jordan DiLorenzo was just 12 when a visit with a doctor at Galasano Children's Hospital would change his life forever. She told my mom that it could be leukemia. I didn't know what that was at first and then she said cancer. That scared me. It eventually wasn't a could be, it was cancer. I wasn't sure what was gonna happen to me. I was scared. But I found that having family close to you helps. Someone else would help too. After his diagnosis, Jordan met another boy, Aiden, who'd already been battling cancer. Despite a six year age gap, the pair bonded over Pokemon, Legos, and their shared reality. Aiden was really the only friend I had for the longest time. He's one of the best people to come into my life. For several years, Jordan and Aiden fought the disease together. Out of one of life's greatest hardships had formed its greatest friendship. Aiden, I would say, is the little brother I never knew I needed. He meant a lot to me. And having to hear the news that we had lost him, probably the worst news of my life. It's always in the back of your mind that it could happen, but you never. Aiden's parents, James and Erica. You just have so much hope. After fighting for five years, the constant treatment was too much. Aiden Pickett died before his 10th birthday. Never thought we were going to lose him. We just had so much hope that we just couldn't imagine. After Aiden passed, his parents and sister moved away for a fresh start. What didn't change is their close relationship with Jordan and his family. And this past week, they were reunited. Love you, kiddo. Jordan asked if they'd make the trip back so they could all honor Aiden in a special way. Saturday, at the annual Clips for Cancer fundraising event, Aiden's sister Abby got to shave Jordan's head, who then returned the favor for Aiden's dad, James. The money raised here goes to support kids fighting cancer, like Aiden did for so long. Oh, he would, he would eat it up? Yeah, yeah, they would. I think a piece of Aiden lives on in Jordan. It's just, it's so hard to put into words. Jordan, who's been cancer free for years now, has come to discover sometimes in the very worst that life can bring, you find the very best of friends. And I know forever is a long time, but I don't care. I'll, I'll remember him forever. Reporting from Fort Myers, I'm Evan Dean for NBC2.